Hello, hello, man. Cavers, welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, kind of a different video than what we're used to with the diecast stuff. Um, today, I'm going to do an unboxing of the Numskull White Game and Locker. And it's an all in one storage games, headset, controllers, and cables. Uh, read. Oh, that's French. I read French anyway, so. It's for the PS5, PS4, Xbox, Series S and X and Switch. I guess you just store a few games in it anyway. Accessories not included. Uh, white game and locker. Should go well with the PS5. Uh, as you can see, there is the drawer to store cables, remotes and other equipment. The headset holder is designed to fit all sizes and brands of headphones, providing security secure and stable foundation. Open closed doors so you can easily access your games and movies or keep them stored away neat and tidy. That's what we're looking for here, neat and tidy. Holds up to 10 PS5, PS4, Xbox or Switch games and movies. That's pretty cool. Hang up to 4 controller safety and security. And that's good. But uh, yeah, thought of doing unboxing and uh, so let's see how it goes. Something different on the channel. As it's uh, a man cave, so we're going to do all sorts of things. Okay, trusty knife. Uh, not just kind of die cast cars as well, but as you've seen from the channel so far, you know what we kind of do. So what the attention is. So, uh, yeah, let's get these out. screwdriver for this too. But uh yeah that's everything that comes in the box. Alright, so we'll leave that there. Uh, quite a few bits and pieces. We have the instructions, the contents. Uh, yeah, and how to put it together. So we got the whole booklet here. So without further ado, we shall get started. Yeah, pause this now. Show it once. So just different instructions, different languages, features, stuff like that. Okay. <coughs> well, we have our bits and pieces here. That's the doors. I thought I could see that actually. Nice little um, navy kind of. Blue tint, I don't know, yeah, it kind of shows up better in the armor than you can actually. It's kind of dark, but it's. Yeah, it's nice effect actually. Well, solid plastic. Right, well, that's one door anyway. There's obviously two. And there's a drawer here. Thanks for games. Instructions here for a minute. Door, I think. Here's the other door. Uh, another base. That's a base. That's a slide, I think. That's definitely for the time. Uh, we have our CD cases here, so let's take these out of the bag anyway. See the bottom. Made in China. No one else on it. What a bag. 
this is the top anyway, I'd say, because it looks like the screws go in there. Okay. That's there. And then we got a little bag of tricks. Which are just uh, Oh, and even provide us with a little screwdriver. Which is pretty cool. Always coming handy, dude. Uh, four little screws. Okay, so that's obviously the top. This is obviously the bottom. Looks fairly narrow. You can see that there now. Should do yes. Okay, let's get cracking. Okay, so first is first. The sides go in the bottom. Oh, this is the bottom actually, I think. Okay, is it the top? Is the top? Okay. Yeah, it's just gonna go one way, as you can see from the design. So let's just push, push it in like so. Push it down. The next one is the same. Can only really go one way. Okay, that is that bit. Then we have the drawer, it says. The drawer has to go. Hang on a second. Number 14. And the drawer obviously slides on this. Right. It's really wide. This bit, yeah, that's the top. That's right. So then we put this on the bottom, like so. This way. It's this way. Square. Like so. And then our four. back in and get our drawer straight. Yep. The shelf here to go in the well, so I think we can put the shelf in before Numbered, but I can't be bothered to look at the instructions. Maybe I should. Uh, this is number 10. Number 10 goes down the bottom, actually. Yeah, so number 10 has to slide in here on top on the bottom just before we actually stick our drawer in. So we'll have to go in here and up there, like so. That gives us our shelf. Let's 
see. Go this way. And then you get that one there. Then lined up. Let's see. This one there. It has to be just in. There we go. Snap. Now. Okay. Power is very stiff. I think it does go that way because it's flat in the back. the other way just to see because it's very um really stiff and I wouldn't say it's going to be that stiff. So we we'll just try turning it around like so and then see this only goes one way though which is the square so yeah, so it only goes this way so I don't think it's actually this way because unless um, oh, the floor has to go that way. So let's see. No, it's definitely the other way. Front. Oh, stupid me. I'll take it back out again. Should just look at the instructions, really. One drawer around, put the drawer at the front. This way. Fast forward this video because you don't want to see this before. That drawer should be up, I think. Oh, that should be down. That's it. Yes, it's just, it does not look right. For some reason. The base is the right way around. I think 
смотрите. I think it's meant to. Yeah. What's this? Well, draw is very stiff. Clips, I'll just clip on the side. Slot down, yep. Just like so. Now, what else have we got? We just have our two doors. Okay, and these will be put in with the screws. And then let the clip I think is on the top. Yeah. Here. Clip in there. Like so. Like so. Yeah. Okay. We get our screwdriver. It doesn't actually seem to be. Oh, the like of small screws. It's a lot of screws. Okay. I know this goes this side. Because it's there. To do this is flip you open, put you in there, get our tiny screw, which is here, and now. There we go. Now, yeah, let's see, can we get this? If these were magnetic, it would be so much easier. But no. Not, we shall get our own screwdriver. Because these are very small. I'm kind of hard to see in this light. Let's turn around this way. Let's turn around this way. And we're going to just screw it up here. So small, I would rub into the holes. If this is magnetic, it would be so much easier. Okay. Um, you're ready to get me today. Get one in here. 
Kanone. My fingers just don't want to work today. Come on. The screws are just so small. guys as you can see we nearly have it together there's some small screws I've got a couple of screws I thought about them so I'll have to see what they are for they're probably for actually okay yes yeah for screwing this to the top okay oh, we actually had one screw inside didn't we there it is Four screws. Okay. So our Academy Skull on screws here. And do we screw from the top down or do we screw it from the bottom up? We have four screws left. We screw it. Screw from we screw it from this one from the top down. Okay, let's screw it from the top down. Using the provided screwdriver. These are very small screws. Though. Very small. Now, if this was magnetic, it would help. But it's not. Let's see. Okay, that's one. And we go side to side. So we'll do this next. Okay, that's two. Go back this side. Back this side. Oh, we can last that. No, we didn't. Go into the hole. Come on, man. No. no, you didn't.
My fingers are just too long sometimes. And then sometimes they just come in handy. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Lovely. Hey guys, there we have it. All put together. Uh, get rid of that rubbish. Instruction book. Uh, who needs an instruction book? There we have it, guys. Yeah, if you can see it there clearly enough. Now, we have. The Numskull White Gamer Locker. In all its glory. Not really, actually, because. Didn't you go and put these two on upside down? There's a few of these around. Now. Now. All we need to do put a few games in it. As you can see, there's no back to it though. And the drawer is it's fairly stiff, like you won't you won't really open it one handed. You gotta use the two hands. As you can see, now maybe over time that will loosen, but you can see cables are there. Our games will go in here and we have let's test it. See how it holds the joypad. Okay. Not very sturdy. Uh, the holes are pretty well though. Let's see. It's a bit sturdy. It's not gonna fall out anyway. To the side, maybe. Yeah. Move it around. But yeah. Now it does not charge the the joypad, something like that. But um, yeah. Let's put a set of headphones on this and uh, fill it with a few games. We want to have a look. Right, guys. How oh, finito? Our numb school white game and locker. As you can see, pretty neat. Uh, my overall review. Yeah, good story. Like the screws to hold in it, the top of your headphones. As you can see, I have the Turtle Beach. I don't have the, the Pulse 3D. Uh, These are great, I have to say, actually. But um, yeah, and we have a place to hold our joypad. I'm saying not the sturdiest. Maybe they could clip down. You know, maybe if this was a little slightly higher. But no, maybe again. Oh, it's good. It's not gonna fall anyway. You know, want a bit of force to take it out. Out actually, you know. But uh, yeah, we place for four. Four joypads. Oh, there's one charge in there. And then we have a space for 10 games. Which is pretty cool. Keeps away. This guy's PSVR2. Looking forward to that. Our village. As you can see, actually, it's not even open yet. That's not even open. A Ragnarok. So this so far too so I might actually do a video on playing this. But uh yeah guys that's it. That is the non school white gaming locker. As I said there's no spaces to charge any of your peripherals on it like you can't plug it in anywhere or anything like that but um yeah can we get one more game? Can we get one more game in there actually? We can can we? I'm not too sure. Is another one on top? No. 
No, no, it's 10 games. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, yeah, as I said, the, the drawer is the only thing that I would kind of probably knock marks off if I was knocking marks off, but I'm not knocking marks off. So, as you can see, you kind of need a few hands just to pull it out. It's kind of stiff. But um, maybe actually, if you guys are putting it together, maybe a bit of grease wouldn't go amiss on the bottom. It's kind of very hard to pull. It, but um, as I said, it's fairly sturdy, like so. Maybe in time it'll probably wear down. It's probably just because it's new. But uh, yeah, I suppose the only thing now would be knocking marks off for. You know, but, um, other than that, yeah, the door I probably wouldn't really be using anyway. You know, maybe keep it the HDMI cable in there, spare one or something just in case. But that's it, yeah. <coughs> Sadly, this doesn't light up. If it did, actually, if we could plug it in and this did kind of maybe glow, maybe you could, um, you could probably drill small little holes if you wanted and just put a set of LEDs around the back of it. You can't knock the joypads out. <laughs> Don't even push it too much. But um, yeah, maybe if we kind of trail it in the little holes, small little holes, and run a little battery LED lights or something, you can put around it if you wanted. If you wanted, you know. Or maybe even a, an LED strip or something around, <coughs> just to give it a thing. I have some LEDs here actually, so we might um, we might do that. Yeah, we'll see. But anyway, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, let's see how it fits in the old gaming setup. Uh, gaming setup so far, guys, is that we have the television, PlayStation Five there. Uh, we got two of our kit and car there. They're they're not staying there anyway. I just basically just took them off the shelf. As you can see, that's the rest of our setup so far. It's coming along nicely. Still have a bit of work to do, but uh, yes, I've installed all the lights anyway. I'll do a further video on this anyway, it's just a quick thing, but um, yeah, we'll just see if our locker will fit down the bottom here. And it's not going to, no, it's too high. Okay, she's too high for there, so it'll be too high for that. As you can see, I've no room there. So what I will do is, just leave it here. Just leave it to the side for the time being, and we actually have a warranty with this too. So, uh, that's our warranty. So yeah, all in all, it's a nice little thing. Um, again, it wasn't much actually. I can't remember exactly what I paid. I think it was twenty-five euro maybe in um, Smiths. Oh, I'll take these out of the way. That's for the time being, and. Uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll leave it there. Oh, here, that goes nice there. Uh, I won't fit it in the stand there. I might actually put it over here. But as you can see, we've got a gaming chair there and stuff, so, yeah. All is good. So that's it, guys. Again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.